61. The ranks. Everything in the heavens and earth glorifies God. He is the Almighty, the wise. Why did you ask God for his most favoured deed and then not act on his reply? His most favoured deed is for you to believe and strive for him with your lives and wealth. But in the battle of Uhud you quickly retreated, having taken that decision yourselves. So why say things and not do them? God hates hypocrites, those who do not act on what they say, and he loves those who fight in solid lines like the firmest of walls fighting in his way. When Moses spoke to his hypocritical people, saying, Why do you persecute me, when you know I am a messenger of God, bringing you revelation freely? They lied about him, saying he had a defect on his body, and that's why he wouldn't bathe with them. But God had planned a blameless moment where they saw the perfect blemishless body of Moses and then the insults did end. They lied and deviated from the truth, mocking a messenger and thus they went astray and God does not guide rebellious people so he left their hearts that way. And remember too when Jesus said, Children of Israel, God has indeed sent me confirming the Torah that came before and to give you news of the prophet to follow imminently. He will be called the praised one, Ahmed, and Muhammad means the most praised, and Jesus showed the Israelite signs, miraculous signs, in many different ways. But they ignored him and rejected them, saying these are obviously a sorcerer's tricks. Who can be worse than the one who invents lies about God when God calls on them to submit? Your people and Moses's and the ones to whom Jesus was sent all committed such lies, mocking what God sends with their speech. Through their mouths the truth is denied. They insult God's guiding light of messengers and signs, calling them poetry and magic. But God will perfect his light, though the disbelievers hate it. They will end on a path that is tragic. He is the Lord who sent the messenger with guidance to the true religion prevailing over others, even though the idolaters will hate it and they whisper and conspire with one another. O oh, believers who ran at Uhud, shall I show you a way to save yourselves from a painful doom? Trust in God and the messenger. Struggle for him with all you have. This is best if only you knew. He will forgive you your sins and grant you the gardens for all of eternity, a supreme reward along with something else which will please you surely. He will help you against the disbelievers of Mecca and grant you rule of that city soon, and Muhammad tell the believers the good news of the garden and all that is in it too. So you who believe be God's helpers, like Jesus who gathered those around him, saying, Who will come to help me do God's work? And they replied, We will count us in. And of those who they preached to, some did believe. However, some surely did not. And we supported those who had faith against their enemies. And they, the believers, came out on top.